I'm Matthew Huber. I specialize in splash photography. It is a very challenging type of photography because of the chaotic nature of water. I enjoy that about it. It's got a lot of surprises in the way it behaves and the way it responds with movement. My challenge is to discover the interesting and beautiful moments when liquid is in motion and then to isolate and capture them. After several years of specializing in splash photography, I've developed a unique process for capturing these images. In making these images, one of the most critical things is timing. And in order to control timing, I worked with my father, who is a bit of a mad scientist, to write a program to control the timing of complex events down to a fraction of a second. The program controls various devices that I use to create movement. One example is a pneumatic piston that I use to create an arch movement for a catapult. Today we're working with two pneumatic pistons to create linear movement. One will raise a container to create a sheet of water, and another will pull a beer can back to splash into that sheet. In my splash photographs, I try and make as much as possible happen in one shot, instead of having a lot of pieces that are put together in post-production. I feel like this is more organic and leads to a better picture. I use high-speed video to record the action of liquid on set, and then I play it back in slow motion to review exactly what's happened. The understanding I gain from reviewing the slow motion footage allows me to tweak different variables and manipulate the behavior of the liquid. Often, very small adjustments to timing, angle, or other variables will have a huge impact on the end result, so my process and tools are very precise. Pressure drops, and start time. That's nice. I think that's it. With a lot of my techniques and tools, I try and put water into different circumstances than I had before uh, to discover what it will do. And for me, that's very exciting.